So I'm back here in the lab now, the histology lab, and I'm going to show you what happens to a specimen once it gets biopsied from you and goes to the lab. So you go to your dermatologist and they cut a abnormal mole off of you. They put it into this little jar filled with formaldehyde, formalin. So formalin, what it does is it, it fixes the tissue. It keeps it from breaking down or rotting or uh, uh, from the cells from falling apart. So formalin links the proteins together in the tissue and keeps them from denaturing or breaking down. It's important so we can see what the cells look like and we can do stains to identify them. Uh, the next step is we open the container, measure the piece of skin, and then cut it up and put it into this little cassette here for tissue processing. And we usually add some different colored inks to the outside of the tissue so we can see where the actual tissue edge is and to help us keep from mismatched specimens. After we do gross examination, the tissue goes through a series of chemical baths that take the water out of the cells and replace it with wax, paraffin wax. After the tissue processes, we have really experienced histotechnologists who take the tissue out and put it into a little container and fill it with hot wax. This step is called embedding because you embed the tissue in hot molten wax and then it cools and solidifies into a block. The end result is that the tissue gets into this little wax block that we can then cut very thin slices off of. And yes, it's totally safe to handle these wax blocks with bare hands at this point. Uh, after we have the tissue embedded, we put it on this machine called a microtome, which lets us cut really thin little salami slices of tissue and put them onto a slide. So one of our awesome histotechnologists is cutting this really thin slices of, of wax with skin in it using the very sharp knife on the microtome. And that's another incredible job that you should think about if you're interested in uh, medical jobs because histotechs are amazing. Okay. So here we've cut a ribbon of tissue and we're going to put it on the water bath. And you can see that it floats out just perfectly. All right, now our histotech cuts the uh, little slices apart and scoops it up onto a slide. And there you go, a four micron section of skin on a slide. Then the uh, slides bake in an oven and then they go through a series of chemicals, which is called hematoxylin and eosin to make the slides stained. You can do this staining by hand, but we have an automated stainer that does it for us. And at the end, you can see that we've gone from clear tissue like this to tissue that's pink and blue. After the tissue is stained, we apply a really thin layer of glass on top to protect it so it doesn't scratch off. That's called a cover slip. And then it's ready for the pathologist to make a diagnosis. So now the slides come out on these trays and I'm ready to read them. And as you can see, I've got a pretty big stack of work to do, so I better get to it. Here's the glass slide on my microscope stage. And here's the look if we can get it through the eyepiece. Okay, so it turns out it's kind of hard to do that without focusing first, but here's looking through my iPhone down the ocular at the skin on the microscope.